right, so based off the last video you guys saw, I have some explaining to do. I have in fact been absent yet again for a little while, but I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys know this to be normal, so no big surprise there. And my reasoning? I'm bad with consistency. That's literally all there is to it. No excuses, just truth straighter than a runway. So now with that out of the way, it's about time to talk about what I actually wanted to talk about. I want to try and release content more often, and so I'm going to be trying my best to work myself on a schedule, which I'll get to once everything else is out of my flight path because it's very crowded with all the stuff I need to cover. So I figured eventually that the content you guys know me for, you know, this stuff, would eventually get more worn out than pilots flying transatlantic flights to and from, and then I'd be left with nothing else interesting to present to y'all. Which is why I'm in the process of expanding the type of content that I want to be doing. And to make myself very clear, like ideal flying conditions, I'm not straying away from aviation content because that's literally the reason this channel exists. But I don't think any of y'all know this, but I also have a fascination with these little things called boats. And so my content will sometimes evolve watercraft, but no need to worry, this is still an aircraft dominated space. Now with a clear runway ahead, let's pick up speed and get to what else we need to talk about. As previously mentioned before, I'm expanding my content from beyond Flight Radar 24, but that doesn't mean I'm cancelling Flight Radar 24 videos like my flight to Montreal. I have other Flight Radar 24 video plans. For example, you guys see this call sign? What is that? Like, who, who came up with this? Weird stuff like this in my eyes is worthy of getting its own videos, which brings in the topic of a new upcoming series, The Peculiarities. Weird call signs, weird flight patterns, non-existent planes, anything that basically isn't normal. Also, do you guys see this picture? I'm also going to be working on a series called Beauty Catches for all the really beautifully taken photos of planes on this tracker. When my channel was very small, like I mean very, very small, like double digit small, only the OGs of the OGs would remember, I had a model airplane collection. Not very quality, but it still counts. And now fast forward to about three Christmases ago, and I've got the real deals. That's right, Gemini Jets, NG Models, Phoenix, I got them. And that introduces the upcoming series, Not to Scale, where I just review and update you guys on the growth and progress on my model aircraft collection over time. Yeah, I don't really know what that was, but don't judge me. Now these kinds of videos are going to be as rare as fighting a fighter jet on the radar that basically made me semi-famous but not really famous, but I digress. The point is, full flight videos are not going to be as common as flight radar 24 or plane spotting videos because I can't afford to fly and go places like Sam Chewy or the Points Guy. But when they do appear, they will be in my new series, Cruising Altitude, where basically I'm making videos like I'm the Jazz Guy 13, Skylight Productions, or SD Mullins. Full flight experiences made short and simple. Quick break, I plan on making a series where I visit air museums, air shows, and places like the Davis Mothin Air Force Base or Victorville, but I don't have the money to go to places on the other side of the country, nor do I have a name for the series like my other projects, so if y'all could recommend some names for a series where I'm visiting places like that, let me know. Also, if y'all could sign me some money so that I can visit museums and Victorvilles and Mothin bases, I could really use the help because, just please, you gotta help me out. You, you, you gotta, gotta help, help me! me. Looking back on flight path though, it'd be an airborne violation against myself to not make one of my favorite styles of video. Introducing The Checklist, which is the series where I make a bunch of list videos, it's literally in the name, that's all there is to it. Videos like the biggest planes in the world or some stuff like that, and I can promise you my thumbnails won't look like any of this mess. Not even a 4 year old is going to believe something like that exists. But also unlike these videos with unbearably cringy and unrealistic thumbnails, I will not be using my voice in them like I know it will well. Also, now that I think about it, this is the first time you guys have heard my voice, so, um, hi. As I also previously mentioned before, I have a carnival fascination with water crap. I'm, I'm sorry, but not really. Literally, any time I have the chance to make a joke like that, I'm going to do it, which helps me introduce my series, Talking Sh- Talking Sh- Come on, I said sh Oh my god, bro. Talking Ship. There we go, Jesus Christ. It's the series where I'm just gonna be geeking out over cruise ships and Navy ships, uh, basically like no it will well and flying south, but for my mariners out there, if I have any. 
Just like any other app geek that's into my airspace, I could talk about aviation all day like a non-stop flight to SFO. So of course I figured, why haven't I done that yet? So guess what? I did. Now, I will basically be doing the short and simple version of DJ's Aviation or Simply Aviation. I've got two different series I'll be working on. I introduced to you Know It Real Well, where basically I talk about icons of aviation because there's plenty of those to talk about, so why wouldn't I? And plus, you can't be an app geek without knowing that kind of stuff real well. Sorry, let me stop now. And now I introduce to you Flying South, where I cover air disasters including the two incidents including Space Shuttles Columbia and Challenger. Sure, they're not really planes, but they're space planes, so I'm gonna do it anyway because this is my airspace and y'all just fly in it. Now this next entry is something that I literally could have been doing the whole time since 2016 back when I started this channel, but it's not like I haven't shown it on the channel before, but once again, only the OGs of the OGs would remember this. And I don't even know if they remember this, honestly, because y'all know Infinite Flight, right? The simulator that made Swiss 001 famous? I have made Infinite Flight movies in the past. Uh, I've only made two of those, though, and I was planning on making more, but then Flight Radar 24 blew this channel up like Pan Am 103, and that's why I've been focusing on just that for the last two or three years, because that's basically what I'm known for now. Infinite Flight Videos basically said MH370 and decided to disappear, but unlike MH370, the Infinite Flight Videos are actually making a return flight in the new series, Infinite Skies. This series comes in two flavors. We've got Infinite Skies Cross Country, where all the flights I do take place within the US, hence across the country, and then we've got Infinite Skies Around the World, where I fly, obviously, across the world, but those ones are going to be a little more uncommon because I don't have the time nor patience to fly from New York to London, so you guys recommend me the flight routes and I'll deliver like an Amazon Prime Air 767. Not this one though. Well, the last project that I have in mind is what I like to call Very Fleeting. Yet again, another series dedicated to list videos of fleets from different companies. And once again, we've got two flavors. We got one for the Yav Geeks and one for the Mariners because I already told you I got a fascination with boats. Yeah, those are all the updates I wanted to cover and let you guys know about in terms of keeping up with the content and all that mess. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video from now on, I'm going to be working on my consistency, so I'm going to try working on a schedule from now on, like Flight Radar 24 videos on a certain day and Bank Flight videos on another. But I'm also going to try and make it so that you guys get a little bit of content every month. It's not a promise I'll be able to fully deliver, but just know that I'm trying because I'm still in high school, I work a job, and this isn't the only channel I run on YouTube, so plug time. Any of y'all have an interest in cars, I'm not only an av geek or marine freak, I'm also a car guy. So for all my car guys out there, if y'all want to see car content, I've got vision for a project car that I'm working on right now that'll be documenting through this channel. Also, I do Crew 2 and Forza Horizon videos, and videos of car shows, so check out this channel if you want to see content like that. I can't force you. But it's worth a shot. Also, if y'all like vlog style content like daily life, basically what any influencer, god I hate that term, does on this platform, y'all can feel free to check out this channel right here. But because I'm busy with this channel most of the time, content on these two other channels might not be as consistent should y'all be interested in subscribing to those. I'm sorry, I literally just noticed it. Please ignore the buzzing noise that is in the background. That That's just the mini fridge over there. I literally have nowhere else to go, so... Oh, Lord. I probably could have told you guys that a lot sooner, but it, it doesn't really matter now. But anyway, on that note, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all like a rarity on the next video.